Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video we're just going to be talking about the basics. What do the numbers mean when you're looking at a binocular? So this is the Scenic 7x50, and it's got some other numbers on there like field of view and uh, the inner pupillary distance here is 50, 60 to 70 millimeters. What, what does all that mean? So let me break it down. The first thing is the magnification, 7x50. So 7 is the power. So that means it brings everything in seven times closer. Uh, some binoculars would be 10 power, 10x50, um, and that's just going to give you a little bit more resolution as you zoom in closer. The second number is the size of the lens in millimeters. So this being a 7x50, that means this lens here is 50 millimeters across, about 2 inches. The bigger the lens, the more light it lets in. Now a lot of people always say, oh, the, the bigger the lens, uh, the bigger the field of view. That's actually not correct. Um, and in many cases, as the binocular gets bigger, the power goes up as well. So you might have a 15x70, a very big binocular, but that has a narrower field of view than this 7x50. So the lens just affects how much light it lets in at a given magnification. And that will also tell you how big the binocular is. This is a nice, comfortable, handheld binocular, uh, 7 by 50 but a 15 by 70 will be much taller, harder to hold steady. You might need a tripod in order to use it uh, to the best of its ability. So handheld, 7 or 10 by 50 is great. The other important number on the binocular is the field of view. And it's usually listed in degrees. So here it is, field of view, 7.1 degrees. That's an angular field of view. It's like the slice of the pie. If I spread my arms out this way, that's 180 degrees. So I'm seeing a 7.1 degree slice of view as I look out uh, into the distance. That number will go down as the magnification, as the first number, the seven, goes up. Because as I zoom in, seven, up to 10, up to maybe a 15 binocular, you're cropping down on one small object, but you're losing that slice of the pie and you're seeing a narrower field of view. Some binoculars are listed in a different uh, nomenclature. Uh, 7.1, that's an angular field of view. Uh, you can also see it listed in a linear field of view. So they might uh, say like 336 feet at 1,000 yards. That means at some object that's 1,000 yards away, you're seeing a width of 336 feet. Now that might get confusing if you're trying to compare binoculars. So uh, there's an easy conversion. If it's uh, feet at 1,000 yards, just divide it by 52 and a half, and that converts it into the angular field. And then conversely, if it's an angular field, just multiply 7.1 times 52 and a half, and you'll get the feet at 1,000 yards back. All right, well, that's uh, pretty much it. Actually, one other thing I forgot to mention, the uh, inner pupillary distance. There's a little scale on the side there, 60 to 70 millimeters. That's just a general uh, uh, measurement of the distance between the lenses. When you bend them in like this, that's 60. When you pull them out like that, that's 70. Pretty much everybody's eyes are somewhere in between those two. So uh, unless you have a very small face with really narrow eyes, um, any standard binocular should fit your face uh, well enough. And both eyes will, uh, both lenses will hit the pupils of your eye to give you a, a, a perfect image. All right. Well, thank you very much. Clear skies.